We're on to the same way here in Bossy Calls. I'm Sarah, your host today, and we have with us uh, Digital from TX Hash Dome. Um, we'll get into the project shortly, but first, let's start with some self introductions, and it will also be nice to know about your professional background prior to TX Hash Dome. All righty. So, hello, guys. Uh, thank you for having me, first of all. I, I love your guys' channel, I love what you guys do. Uh, that first of all. But uh, so uh, my name is Bojan Petrovic. I, uh, I am originally from Serbia. I moved to uh, United States in, uh, I want to say 2002 or so. I've been there for about 17, 18 years. Uh, recently, I moved to uh, Florida, uh, uh, Boynton Beach, Florida, to be uh, precise. Uh, so a little bit about my background. I've uh, worked with, uh, uh, I guess, with the uh, stock stocks and exchanges and whatnot a little bit there you know I was trading and whatnot but uh, I left all that behind uh, once uh, I've seen the scandal with the GME with the uh, AMC I'm sure everybody's familiar with that with the government you know sort of say stop in their trading whatever just because you know hedge uh, hedge funds weren't making money basically or they were losing money I should say so I moved all my assets out assets out I uh, you know moved some of them to my bank account I moved some of them to uh, uh, to Binance, basically, just because I wanted to start and, uh, uh, you know, look more into crypto because it was basically decentralized, right? So once uh, once I've done that, uh, basically, I was just scrolling, you know, through TikTok late, late at night. Uh, I know it was Friday, whatever. But uh, so I, I've heard about SafeMoon, right? Uh, SafeMoon basically was one of the first videos ever out there. I, I think I joined... I want to say within a week, first week or so of them launching, you know, and I uh, invested a little bit there. It did really well. And, uh, you know, I pulled out some from there, left some. I, uh, <clears throat> I joined the next project, uh, which was Elongate. And, uh, you know, I didn't know much about it, but I was, uh, so to say, gambling. Luckily for me, you know, all the uh, gambles, so to say, that I was doing paid out because I actually was, you know, uh, finding the good projects, right? I was hearing about, you know, people getting scammed here, people getting scammed there. And uh, to be honest, I was uh, looking for anything that I could find to sort of say invest, you know, a couple bucks here, a couple bucks there. But uh, uh, luckily I wasn't, uh, you know, I, I've been through a couple of rugs, whatever, nothing too horrible, but, uh, but yeah. So uh, later on, uh, I think starting, I want to say starting 2021, I joined a project called uh, INDC or Nano Dogecoin. I uh, joined as an investor. I uh, did some work for them later on. Uh, they had me sort of say as a shiller and uh, that worked out for them, worked out for me, you know. And uh, recently I moved uh, from, uh, from INDC and I got offered a position, so to say, with the project called Meta Ruffy. Right. So I joined Meta Ruffy uh, in January 16th, I believe. Uh, they only had, you know, maybe a couple thousand people at the time. I want to say 1.6 or something. And, uh, you know, I started uh, marketing for them. I basically, I would basically wake up six o'clock in the morning uh, every day. I would uh, hold their, so to say, you know, live raids, whatever, you know, with people that wanted to participate with. We had about 25 people. 25 good people with us so we would uh, do that for three or four hours um i would gather all the wallets whatever give them an assignment you know for the next uh, 24 hours basically or next 20 hours whatever until the next day and uh i would move on to their community i i did all of their community giveaways all of the games everything was planned by me uh after that i would look through my uh dms you know i i honestly went through about three to 5,000 DMs every week, right? But all of them were answered, you know, customer service to me was very important. So uh, once I was done with that, I would gather all the wallets from the winners, basically from the giveaways, from the shilling, whatever. I would put it on the uh, sheet and, uh, you know, answer some more DMs, be active in the community. Everybody knew me there. And uh, yeah, so that would that was basically what I was doing with them. I left the team, I want to say uh, March 22nd, right? So after I left the team, uh, Basically, that's uh, well. The idea for the TX hash dome or a transaction hash dome uh, came to me uh, while I was with the Meta Ruffy, right? So, in particular instance, uh, we had uh, basically like a marketer, so to say, 
approach us. He said that he's the owner of a specific uh, TikTok channel. He even actually changed the name, changed the bio of that channel. I was able to go to TikTok, you know, verify it myself. Uh, he had a YouTube channel as well. He was, you know, wanted to promote us and all that. And uh, he actually made the video, changed the name, everything, you know, to show us that he's legit. And uh, as soon as we paid him, he disappeared. So that's, uh, you know, that made me sort of say very mad because uh, not only because, uh, you know, we got scammed, but because I did, you know, what I could, right? I had the video, I had all the proofs that he's legit, whatever, we paid him. And, uh, you know, we ended up getting scammed, right? So I tracked those funds and uh, those funds uh, went uh, to a wallet that was holding over half a million dollars of, uh, you know, different kind of coins, whatever, mainly BNB and USDT, right? So the idea came to me, you know, like, why not? Uh, well, we'll talk about the project, but that's when the uh, idea for the project came to me, right? So basically TX stands for transactions. Everybody knows that uh, hash, you know, can be uh, either a hashtag or, you know, hash like mining power or whatever. And uh, Dome, you know, everybody knows what Dome is, but uh, I'm trying to bring everything, every kind of transaction, whatever that goes through us under one roof, so. Yeah, thank you for that background. <laughs> Amazing story. You mentioned a lot of known uh, project names as well. I'm sure a lot of us has been in those and swinged some good amount of money. I have at least. <laughs> um, all right. So run us through so the um, the project like uh, in general. What services like are you specifically going to be offering? Like what is the project about? Sure. So we're actually going to, once again, you know, Dome, we're trying to bring everything crypto under one roof. So the first, uh, uh, sort of say, uh, utility that we're going to be offering and the heart of the project, in my opinion, is going to be, you know, the platform where the freelancers, where um, basically the, you know, project and free freelancers and uh, the investors they can sign up on, right? So we have a smart contract. Uh, we, we call it our, you know, smart es escrow contract, right? So the way basically that it's going to work, you know, it's fairly simple. I tried to explain it as uh, quick as I can, but uh, project needs, uh, let's say, let's say graphic designs, right? They can, uh, you know, sign up on our platform, get their uh, thing filled out, uh, their whole profile, you know, set up how they like to. Uh, they can also go, uh, you know, connect. Uh, well, they, to sign up, they have to sign up with the MetaMask, right? So once they sign up with MetaMask, uh, they basically find somebody that they want to work with. They uh, uh, basically offer them, let's say, two BNB, say, and say that, okay, we need this done, whatever, we need these graphics made, whatever, here's all the details, we're offering you two BNB, right? So if you're a service provider or freelancer and, uh, you know, that price is okay for you, let's say for the sake of arguments, you agree with the price, you accept it, and the uh, project basically gets a notification saying that uh, the, uh, you know, your offer has been accepted, please def deposit the funds, right? So now the project project basically deposits those two BNB into the escrow account or to the, you know, in our case, uh, smart escrow, escrow on co contract and uh, those funds sit there, right? So now the uh, project or I mean the freelancer get a notification, the funds have been deposited, you're good to go. So they start the work a couple days later, let's say they finish the work, they mark it on the website, uh, work complete and uh, project gets a notification, you know, they review the uh the work that was done for them and uh let's say they like it they approve it and uh service provider or the freelancer gets an option basically to withdraw the funds down so uh that's you know a sim we're keeping as simple as possible you know the signups are going to be simple as possible as well and uh you know we're, we want to sort of say save the projects and also the freelancer you know their money that they're working hard for so they don't uh, sort of say get scammed right so you hire somebody whatever you deposit your funds in the smart escrow contract you're safe you just wait for you know them to finish the work if the if uh, let's say the freelancer is trying to scam you uh all you have to do you know hit the hit the button to get us involved we'll have a we'll have a team basically that go, overlooks that we're gonna you know go thoroughly through everything if uh, let's say you know we set up a meeting with both parties the freelancer doesn't show up 
all we got to do, you know, is just hit the button for the funds to be reversed back to the project and they're safe. So that's one of the services. Uh, but uh, we're once again trying to, you know, bring everything crypto on the one roof, right? So we're going to have our uh, launch pad. We're going to have streaming services on the platform. We're going to have our KYC. We're going to have an exchange uh, listing, all these uh, kind of services, basically that, you know, projects, service providers and investors need. So that's uh but uh but yeah that's uh what we're looking to provide so uh whenever you're ready i'll uh, let you know about the other services a little bit uh more as well yeah sure thank you for that um i was just thinking so what is the, your guys process of ensuring proper like qualification of applicants or freelancers within their field of work Sure. So there really uh, isn't any, right? So we want to offer everybody to sign up. So if you have a skill, you can sign up. But, you know, there's going to be a notice basically saying if your work is not up to the standards, you know, or if, uh, you know, try to scam somebody, basically, you are not going to get those funds, right? So you as a project have to, you know, know exactly what you want what you need uh, we're going to also have the basically uh steps you know uh showing and uh provided to the projects whatever hiring these freelancers to let them know you know how to cover themselves right so uh you as a freelancer you would put your portfolio there and uh once your portfolio is there you know the project can take a look and uh also if you work for some previous projects your name will be there right so it's going to say that this service provider has worked for this project or this project has worked with the service provider right so it's going to go down the list and uh you know uh that's how you're going to build up your name right so even if you're, let's say, a very good, uh, let's say a hype man, right? You know, there's plenty of those out there, right? But uh, they can sign up, you know, they can uh, start working. And uh, if somebody hires them, obviously, but if the, you know, if they don't uh, provide the services, you know, that they say that they can, they're, you know, the project is not going to pay them, right? Uh, I mean, they can pay them if they feel bad for them or whatever. But, you know, as far as the legal points and whatnot, uh, everybody's going to be able to uh, sign up, right? So uh, another thing that we're doing, we will have a KYC service, which will uh, basically give those uh, accounts or the service provider, providers on the platform uh, verification, right? So they are going to be... Uh, uh, verified, so to say, like kind of like Twitter, you know, verify some people and whatnot. So they will have that. And uh, to get the KYC with us, it's going to be quite extensive, right? So we're going to, you know, kind of do what Pink Sale is doing, whatever, but uh, we're going to have an actual contract signed by the, you know, person wanting the KYC. Once that's signed, you know, it's uh, basically a process all the way down. And um, there is going to be a registry list for people, you know, who are KYC on our website as well. Everybody can look them up and, uh, you know, see uh, the status of their KYC. So if they change anything, whatever about, uh, you know, the information that they gave us before, the KYC is going to be revoked. So. Since there's going to be like, uh, you know, on the service providers profiles, there's going to be like ranking system and you're always going to have also yes. going to have the KYC visible. How are you guys going to, are you like going to highlight that somehow on the platform or is that so? Uh, yes, when? it's going to be by their yeah. name. It's going to be right by their name. So to say like uh, uh, right now, I see Sarah in the chat has, uh, you know, the verified mark, so to say, from the Telegram. But uh, it, it's, you know, going to be just like that. They will have a ranking system as well. You know, people are going to be able to rank them. Uh, they'll be able to leave a comment under their, you know, review page and whatnot. So everything is going to be there. And, you know, worst case scenario, somebody tries to scam somebody, uh, we're going to take it in our hands and, uh, you know, we're going to remove that person from the platform. And uh, to ensure, so to say, if they were, let's say, KYC, that they don't return, uh, we will be requiring an IP address, you know, no VPN, uh, obviously, but uh, we will be requiring their uh IP address and also for that device that they're using to work with us uh, to be registered for us as well, right? So if they do something bad, whatever, we're gonna, you know, bl block those uh, that IP, that uh, device as well. And uh, yeah, so we're gonna try, you know, to do as best as we can to keep those people off of the uh, platform, but we're not gonna sort of say be limiting those people, well, limiting anybody, I should say, from signing up. Obviously, if you're legit, you're going to make it out there. 
but uh, if you try to scam somebody, the funds are in the smart contract. You cannot withdraw them until the project says otherwise. And what uh, wallets are being integrated into the platform? Uh, it's going to be basically from the MetaMask. Uh, so if uh, if you have a MetaMask, that's how you sign up. Basically, you know, obviously everybody has a MetaMask, but we will have like uh, sort of say infomercials, whatever, uh, small videos, how to sign up. Uh, everything is going to be good. So the wallet that you are using basically is going to be uh, your profile. That's going to be your sign up. So there's not going to be like an email or something like that, but uh, we're going to be signing you up with that. And also for our KYC, as I mentioned. Uh, it's not going to be just like a badge, so to say. You will be receiving an NFT with all that information embedded to that NFT. Those NFTs are going to be on the registry list, as I mentioned, you know, with your details. And if somebody, you know, does something uh, shady, whatever, the, uh, that gets revoked and their information gets public. So we're trying, you know, to deter, so to say, all of the, uh, you know, scammers want to be whatever shady people away from the platform. But uh, I'm, so to say, excited for some of them to actually uh, get caught and be made an example off of. Yeah, <laughs> we want it to be more secure and safe, uh, obviously. Um, I was just thinking, so uh, the payment, uh, will that... Uh, you have like a fiat option as well and in what currency did you say uh, payments uh, were accepted uh, we're going to be working with the BSC so we're not going to be offering a fiat you know uh, we want to work just with crypto but uh, I mean there's going to be an option if you want to get paid in BNB there's going to be an option if you want to get paid in like USDT right so uh, I, I think those two options uh, are you know good for now uh, just because uh, so for example let's say you want to get paid in, in Ethereum right uh, we might put that option in there but you know the service the, the network fees and all that it might not be worth it you know that, that's why you know it's a lot easier to work with the BSC right now pay whatever you know 17 uh, cents and uh get the transaction complete so amazing um what about so the freelancers how are you guys going to uh, onboard them how are you building those relationships perfect excellent question so as i mentioned uh you know I, i'm just going to mention one platform which uh, everybody knows is fiverr right so everybody knows fiverr uh i've you know obviously you know uh, the funds for us right now are limited. I have used Fiverr before for, you know, small things here and there, but uh, I've have talked to every single person that I have hired so far and every single person has given me positive feedback. I'm getting messages, you know, to the, today basically they uh, asking if our platform is ready to sign up right so we will have a, a couple ways to uh, uh, onboard those people right so obviously telegram we're gonna go from projects whatever you know let them know hey we're not asking you to buy anything whatever if you're looking for you know safe services you know so you don't have to have a headache you know worrying about if the whatever you paid for is going to be done or not and uh, once that's done uh, we're going to have a team just for the platform such as Fiverr you know and uh, we're going to send them out we're going to you know talk to everybody that does something with crypto whether you know it's a developer website designer graphic designer anything possible we're going to let them know hey there's this uh, platform here there's no payments required, whatever. And uh, Fiverr, I know the charge is about 25% uh, or so for their service fees. Uh, we're only planning 5 to 10%, and, uh, you know, we're going to attack them. Uh, we're going to have Twitter ads. We're going to have uh, Facebook ads as well, uh, you know, targeting first uh, overseas because pay-per-click, you know, it's obviously a lot cheaper than the United States. So uh, we're hoping, you know, that these uh, – there's a couple other tactics, you know, that we're going to, you know, keep to ourselves for right now. But uh, we're hoping that these uh, first tactics that I mentioned, you know, get us some onboarding, right? So it, we're hoping for a snowball effect. So, I mean, even you guys as a uh, AMA channel, right? You can have your uh, project out there. People can hire you through there. The, you basically, they basically uh, pay you through the escrow service and you guys get paid, you know, whenever, let's say you complete the AMA, so. Amazing. Fair enough. Uh, I was thinking, I don't know if you run through that. Sorry, got cut off at some point, but did you mention the profit shares for the freelancers? 
Uh, yeah, like, like I said, they, they uh, basically get to uh, keep all the proceeds, whatever that they make, and uh, we'll charge, uh, like I said, up to 10% for the, for the service fees, right? And lo those service fees are only going to be um, basically, so to say, acquired through the uh, – if the transaction is completely uh, uh, completed, so to say. So if everything goes well, project hires you. To the completed part, that's uh, the, that's the only time that we're going to be taking those fees out, right? So, but uh, but yeah, uh, I'm not really sure. I guess what you mean by the profit shares? Do you mean like anything from the token or anything like that, or what? What exactly do you mean? No, you you got the question right. Okay, <laughs> you answered okay. my question. Thanks. Um, uh, what about so? What about the revenues then? Is that going to be bought into? Like, are you planning on doing any buybacks, or how are you supporting the chart? I'm loving these questions. Uh, so, okay, so any kind of revenue from our platform that we gather, it's going to basically go towards one wallet. That wallet, up to 80% of that is going to go back to the holders, right? So the way that it's going to go back, it's uh, there's going to be different ways, right? But... Uh, Let's say the let's say this week uh, the platform makes 100 BNB, right? From all the transactions, from uh, you know everything that we have uh, going on and offering, 100 BNB. 80% of that is going to be taken, divided in two. The first half is going to go towards the staking, right? So we're not going to offer like uh, for the token staking. You know, we're not going to say, okay, we're going to give you uh, what's you call it, uh, our native token back in return, right? No, that's not the case. So it's going to be either BNB or USDT, whatever, you know, we decide on, but it's going to be a stable coin. We're going to give you that. You do whatever you want with it, right? That's uh, sort of say our thanks, uh, you know, for supporting us right now. And that's never going to go away. And uh, the other half we're using for the uh, anonymous buybacks, right? The whole half is going to go towards the anonymous buybacks. Uh, and the token that we buy with that is going to go, a uh, small portion is going to go towards the NFT staking only. And the large portion is going to actually go to, towards the uh, OTC, right, which is the over-the-counter basically uh, buy. So essentially, we're going to buy our token, and then we're going to sell it again at, at the OTC for, you know, it's going to be the same price, whatever it is, but no taxes on it. And uh, I'm, I, I don't want to say we're going to sell, you know, 5% to one person, whatever, there's going to be a limit on it, of course, you know, but uh, essentially the same tokens from the buybacks will be sold back again, and all of that is going to go towards the LP. Um, all right let's see hmm. uh when so when can uh, the freelancers start uh, listing their services and start earning sure. like when does the platform go live so right now uh we have all of this ready we just uh, haven't uh, basically implemented the UI on it yet, right? So uh, as soon as uh, we launch the project, whatever, uh, I, I want to say it's going to be ready, but uh, I, I can't promise that, right? The, the CTO that we have hired, actually, he's, uh, uh, I don't know if, if uh, he's very known, whatever, but he, uh, he's from a company called uh, Scords, and uh, they're based in India right now. But uh, the guy has about 18 years uh, of the... Uh, of experience behind them, right? So 18 years of experience behind them. One of his actual clients is actually uh, Binance as well. Uh, he's got uh, uh, work done for United Nations, for some ba banks and whatnot. Uh, we have that pinned somewhere in our post, whatever, from him as well. But uh, so he's, uh, you know, he's very diverse and he knows what he's doing. So if uh, if we have the funds, you know, to uh, complete, keep on completing the tasks, it, it's going to be done pretty much right away. Uh, most of it is done right now. Like I said, uh, we have the sign up ready. It just, uh, and we have the escrow ready as well. Uh, we tested it. Uh, we do have a DAO uh, group as well. The DAO is basically the, all the seed sale uh, participants that we had. And uh, yeah, everything has been shown to them, whatever. Uh, they have actually had the chance to test it out as well, sign up with their uh, wallet also. So uh, I don't want to promise it's going to be at the launch, but it's going to be very, very close. All right, amazing. Um, let's jump into the fundraising uh, part of this. So you're using Pink Cell for the private sale. How much are you basically raising, and what is that being raised raised for? Is that operational or marketing costs? Yes. So uh, we have. Uh, so let's go back to seed sale, right? So in the seed sale, we have actually gathered uh, fifty BNB and. Uh, 
that was done basically just uh, from me going from, uh, you know, person to person that I've known from the past and, uh, you know, speaking with them, right? You know, telling them, hey, this is my idea. I know you for a while. You know me, whatever. If you want to invest, you know, I'm giving you an opportunity, right? So, uh, we have about 40 people in our DAO group and, uh, you know, they're, most of them uh, are investors, basically the ones that are, uh, that are not are some of my mods and whatnot, but let's say about 40 people are the DAO investors, right? So uh, the 50 BNB we have taken, we have basically, you know, built what we uh, have seen so far, you know, we have our, uh, uh, our platform is live. I, we have an actual LLC, as I mentioned. Uh, oh, I don't know if I mentioned, I'm sorry. But uh, we have an LLC as well. Uh, we have a trademark pending. Uh, we have the smart uh, escrow contract ready. We have the uh, sign up ready as well. Uh, but uh, we just don't have the, uh, the UI built for that, right? So that's where we, we fell short in uh, funds, so to say, a little bit, you know. And I'm not, I don't want to say, I, I'm not, you know, ashamed of that, you know. Uh, the person that we chose is a very uh, good, uh, you know, developer, so to say. You know, he's not cheap, but we want quality over quantity, right? I could have hired somebody on Fiverr, for example, once again, for like $1,000 to build all this, but how safe would it be? How thoroughly tested would it be? You know, we don't know that, you know? So I've hired somebody that's, you know, very good. Uh, so far, uh, all the 50 BNB has sort of say been spent to that. So coming back to the uh, uh, private sale, the private sale is actually uh, tomorrow uh, in about 23 hours from, from right now. The first five minutes will be all whitelisted, and uh, we're trying to raise 100 BNB, right? So uh, the team and myself, whatever, nobody has taken any of the funds, whatever. Like I said, you know, all the transactions, everything has been, even my bank records have been provided to the DAO, and uh, I'm fully doxxed to them, you know, my driver's license, everything, you know. And even if you guys wanted to know who I am, uh, all you have to do is just uh, look up the LLC. It's the TX hash, uh, TX hash uh, Dome Holdings LLC. You take a look at it, you'll know who I am, my full name, where I live, everything, you know. I, I'm not running away from anybody, you know, it's out there. But, uh, but yeah, so anyways, the 100 BNB that we're trying to raise uh, is going to go mostly towards the marketing. You know, I'm hoping, you know, we fill it out so we can do uh, more work with you guys as well. And uh, we're not obviously going to, we're not going to spend all of it. We're saving, I want to say about 30, 40% of it or so, you know, setting it aside for, you know, if we need it for LP, whatever, or, you know, last minute changes here and there. And, uh, but uh, yeah, so everything else out from that is going towards the marketing, right? We, we do need exposure. Uh, the whole uh, thing right now has been uh, sort of say funded by myself, funded by the, uh, the co-owner right now. We're about $10,000 into the marketing. I, I mean, I, I can, I can show you right now my bank account, you know, I have about $100 left in it, whatever. We have poured everything that we can into this, right? So uh, all of these funds, whatever, like I said, up to uh, 60, 70%, whatever, are going to go towards the marketing. All right, amazing. Um, let's see. And I can see they are vested as well, right? Yep. Yeah. Yep, yeah. the seed sale and the private sale is vested. Uh, the vesting is nothing too terrible. 50% at launch, 24, uh, 25% the next week, and 25% the week after that. And that was, like I said, everything is being voted by our DAO. It's not like, you know, I'm making these executive decisions or whatever. I trust them. You know, they trust me. I let them, you know, have any kind of vote that they want out there, whatever. Uh, everybody has one vote. It doesn't matter if you hold, you know, 1% or, you know, 0.0001% of the tokens. If you are in DAO, uh, you have one vote, basically. So whatever they wish on, to vote on, they're there. You know, they know me, they know my two-year-old kid, they know where I work, they know everything about me. So they trust me, I trust them. Okay, so uh, run us through your, uh, will there be any tax for tokenomics and so on? Yes, so for the tax, uh, we're starting off, uh, you know, with 10 and 12, right? So uh, 10 to buy basically, you know, which I want to say up to 90% of that is going to go towards the, uh, towards building the platform, right? So the reason why we chose that, I know it's a little bit high, but at this, uh, at this point of time, I guess, there's, you know, people just looking to pump and dump, you know, and we're trying to sort of say, 
uh, have the project for the long run. And if we if we can, we're going to capitalize off of that. But uh, the taxes are actually designed to go all the way down to zero as soon as the platform can uh, basically sustain itself. So we have that. Uh, these are our tokenomics, basically. So 7.5% for the seed sale, uh, which was uh, already sold out. 12.8% uh, for the private sale and 28.1% uh, for the pre-sale. Uh, these are our newer tokenomics, basically. Uh, we actually just changed them yesterday. I was trying to sort of say, uh, sort of, so for example, for the seed sale, uh, it's supposed to be 2.4% uh, only, right? So uh, I was trying to not to build sort of say like whales or whatever, but uh, the tokenomics after, I want to say I was running them for days. I just couldn't uh, couldn't make them work, right? To have you know less tokens given out for you know one PNB, for example, worth, right? So we were, I don't want to say forced, but we had to make the decision to increase the tokens given, and uh, you know so we can have a better you know looking and more trustworthy sort of say. Um, uh, tokenomics, right? So before, I think it was about 22%. We're gonna go towards, you know, like the holders' liquidity and all that, and the 80% was gonna be reserved. But you know, uh, I, I understand it. You know, if I seen that, that that a team is holding basically, you know, 80% of tokens, whatever, I probably wouldn't buy it, right? Then you wouldn't either. So anything that I've tried, it just wouldn't work. So we had to change it to uh, what we have right now. Uh, we do also have uh, Project Kickstart, which is uh, just the name for that we're using for venture capital, right? So basically uh, we're gonna have some funds there and also from the taxes coming into a wallet, it's gonna be venture ca capital. And uh, the way that that's gonna work, um, once the projects, uh, let's say they wanna launch with us and their KYC, right? And uh, we would look into them, you know, they'll, be, they'll have a chance to uh, basically sign up for a loan, you know, essentially, right? Once we go through them, through the meetings and everything with them, uh, decide whether they're, you know, trustworthy or whether they're the project itself, you know, is good enough. We're going to give them a grant, so to say, right? So that grant is going to involve, um, basically, let's say they get approved for a 20 BNB worth, you know, of marketing funds and whatnot. So they would be able to go to our platform, pick the people they want to work with, and uh, we would pay them. Those people would work for them in an exchange for, let's say, 2% of their token supply, right? So now I, I know 2%, you know, of any, anybody's supply is a lot, right? What we're doing with that 2%, we are sending it to all of our holders, right? None of it is going towards our platform right? or towards uh, us. Uh, generally, but everything is going to go towards the holders. So if you, let's say, hold 0.05% uh, whatever uh, of the 100% of holders, whatever, you would get 0.05% of that 2%. So uh, essentially, let's say we have uh, 10,000 holders, we would redistribute that 2% taken to 10,000 holders. Same for our launch pad as well, right? Uh, our launching fee is just gonna be basically, you know, one or two BNB for any kind of project and two or 3% of the token supply. And that token supply, all of it would be redistributed once again towards all of those projects that are launching with us. So that's, uh, you know, we're trying to make an ecosystem, you know, sort of say not just from uh, buys and sells, but uh, we want to put the revenue in it from the launch pad, you know, uh, everything that we possibly can towards the, you know, our holders basically. So uh, my goal, I, I don't want to say that I want to be a millionaire or whatever, you know, but uh, my goal is for my team to get paid. Well, okay, first of all, for the platform to be running and, you know, everything updated. Second is for my team to be, you know, taken care of because my team will take care of my uh, investors. And, uh, that, you know, that's about it. I'll, I'll take whatever is left over, you know, but once, you know, from Launchpad, from, from everything that we're planning, most of it is going to go towards the, uh, towards the holders, so. Okay. And, uh, but yeah, we have, uh, you know, 10% for uh, uh, sex listing. We have a uh, marketing partnership. So basically, let's say, you know, our project is taken off. You guys are interested in us. You know, we can offer you, you know, some, uh, let's say, you know, I don't want to say 1% of tokens, whatever, but 
let's say for the sake of arguments, you know, half a percent uh, of the tokens, which would be about 500 million tokens that right now. Uh, you guys work with us, you know, we have some kind of a contract, you know, that you're not just gonna take those tokens, work and dump whatever, but, uh, but yeah, so. Uh, we have that ready, uh, team and dev. Uh, dev isn't the developer, it's actually development, right? So uh, the team and development is basically uh, just in case we need some funds for the further development of the project. And all of these are obviously gonna be, you know, locked up, whatever, and uh, try, trying to do, you know, everything, um, so to say, possible to make it uh, safe for everybody and have the running platform and to, you know, which is going to take care of the projects and everybody else involved in it. Okay. All right. Um, I'm done for now. Um, I'm going to open the uh, floor for some community questions. Uh, whenever sure. you're ready, just let me know. Ready as ever. Go ahead. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Um, Lucky. It's your lucky day. <laughs> Shoot your questions. Make sure to unmute your mic, please. Okay. Uh, thank you very much uh, for the great opportunity. Okay. So quickly, uh, my question is uh, regarding uh, the. Uh, cut it out for me. I don't know. Yeah. Sorry, sorry, I was, uh, uh, so my question is regarding um, your platform. So uh, you know that um, when it comes to fever, sorry. sorry, I keep talking. Fever <laughs> has a lot of daily users, over uh, four or five million users. So uh, what are your plans to like bridge uh, those web two users? Uh, to your platform and for the buyers, uh, how will you market your your platform so they they are aware that your platform is existing? Yeah, sure. So uh, as I you know remember or mentioned before, we're gonna go to all the uh, different kinds of uh, platforms and we're gonna you know directly speak with them, right? Uh, we're not just going to have a uh, copy paste, whatever. Uh, once again, I believe in uh, quality over quantity. So if we reach, uh, if our team reaches, you know, a hundred people, you know, a day, uh, talks to them personally, that's, you know, a lot better to me than, you know, reaching, let's say 10,000 people a day with just a copy paste post, right? So uh, we're going to have an actual, you know, sort of say customer service, explain to them how it's working, how they can get paid and everything like that, right? So uh, also we're going to have those, uh, you know, ads running everywhere as well. So we'll, we'll have ads running, for example, let's say, uh, let's say Facebook in Philippines, right? Just for, just for a sake of argument. And uh, pay-per-click there right now is a lot cheaper than it is in the United States. So we're going to have that, you know, we're going to see what kind of turnaround we have if everything, you know, is looking positive. Uh, we're going to move on to different countries, you know, in, until we can, you know, have those ads running everywhere, right? So uh, we're also going to have teams, you know, going to projects as well or AMA channels, you know, telling them, hey, sign up here, whatever. You don't have to promote it, just use your service, use the services, right? So if somebody wants to, you know, pay you or you have to pay somebody, but you're not really sure, whatever, Tell them to sign up, you know, there's a smart desk group contract. Well, you, you know, you don't have to mention us to anybody, just use the services, right? So we're hoping that the honesty, transparency, you know, and the proof of concept, once uh, people start using it is there and uh, that they will basically, you know, it's gonna become, uh, so to say like an everyday crypto necessity from now on, right? So uh, we're just looking, you know, to start with the, with basically, you know, the good customer service, you know, speaking with, uh, you know, members, like for example, let's say you wanna be a graphic designer or a writer for a project, right? But uh, you're either scared that they're not gonna pay you when you're done or vice versa. And uh, all you gotta do is just sign up whatever with your trust wallet and put your name or your username or something like that, tell them to do the same thing, uh, do the transaction uh, like that. Uh, make sure once again, you know, you cover yourself by being very detailed of what the work is and what you're getting paid for and uh, you know that's about it so uh, we're looking you know to have the people uh, as our voice once uh, those people start you know being either saved whatever see it that it works and uh, you know see something in it you know needed so why well, I know that this is a decentralized you know world whatever that we're living in but um, 
I've seen way too many wallets, you know, having whatever, half a million dollars, $250,000 in it just from scamming people. So guess what? Binance is never going to look into those accounts. You know, you can leave a comment on the BSC scan all you want. Those scammers will never, you know, be caught. They can just funnel the money, whatever out, you know, $1,000 a day. That nobody's going to look into it, right? Uh, the only reason the Binance will do anything about it is if, uh, uh, what should I call it, if they're the ones, you know, being exploited. So if somebody takes, you know, a million BNBs, whatever, out of their account, uh, that's when they do something. But if a uh, million dollars or let's say thousand dollars disappears from your account, nobody's going to look into that, you know. So we're trying to uh, show people how this can work how, you know, it can benefit you, uh, you know, whether you have to pay, you know, the 5% fee, you know, that's nothing compared to 100% that you can lose otherwise. So I hope this answers your question. I'm sorry. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you, Lucky B, for your question. Let's move on to Moonshine. Make sure to unmute your mic and go ahead, ask your questions for yours. Hi, Sarah. Thank you very much for the opportunity. So um, I see that you intend to help creators and what you're actually trying to do is a very great deed. And so I wanted to ask a question because um, we have different kind of creators from yeah. different parts of the world. And so I wanted to know some of these creators, some of these people are very good, but they do not have the um, technical services to do what they really want to do. So I wanted to know, I don't really want to call it a charity, but maybe like once in a year, you have like an incubation plan where you um, provide services or technical services they can reach out to, to perform what they are really good at. I feel this would really help creators out there, even in this space. What do you think about that? Yeah, I mean, it, it's a good idea. So there's, uh, okay, so there's good and bad with us, so to say, having uh, to put, let's say, uh, let's say even if we were to host like a live, whatever, let's say graphic uh, design uh, uh, class, right? So if we were to do that, there's always going to be somebody that's going to take advantage of that, right? So they, they, there's going to be those people, you know, that are probably, you know, going to take a video of them being in that session, you know, using us for cloud or using us for uh, to say, hey, TX, TX Hash Doma is the one that trained me. I'm very good, right? That we're, we're trying to stop that, right? So, uh, but however, if uh, we have good creators on our platform, we will have like features, right? We will have free, free, free features of, uh, you know, let's say that this creator has, uh, has had, you know, 10 successful jobs this week, right? We will feature them, you know, every now and then, you know, it's not going to be, you know, for too long, whatever, but it's going to, their name, we're going to try to feature some people, whatever, that do a good job for free, right? Uh, I mean, there's going to be, you know, paid uh, promotions as well for uh, whether it's a project or a service provider, but we will sort of say have those uh, charity, you know, giveaways to the good projects out there or good uh, service providers out there. But as far as teaching somebody that's, uh, you know, sort of say iffy situation. So uh, let's say Bossy himself, right, you know, hosts, you know, somebody how to be a good uh, uh, AMA host, right? And then that person, you know, you know, can just be using that as a cloud saying, hey, Bossy taught me how to do this. You should come to my AMA. I'm legit, you know, this and that. So who's it to say that you didn't have malicious intentions, you know, to scam somebody, you know, uh, away from his platform and once again, away from our platform. So teaching somebody that's a different, you know, uh, different beast to handle, so to say, but... If you're a service provider that knows uh, or can teach somebody to, uh, let's say, to be a marketer, to be a graphic designer, and you can sell those services, right? So somebody might hire you to teach them how to do something else. I think this is a way better approach than us teaching you how to do something, right? So uh, this way, you know, we're not involved in it. Uh, somebody, you hired somebody, you know, to teach you. So if you're a teacher, sign up. If you're a marketer, sign up. If you're, like I said, you know, a hype man, 
sign up. You know, somebody might hire you, right? So if a successful project hires you, you do a good job for them, you know, your name will be on that project forever, basically, as long as they have an account with us, you know? So it's going to say that this guy worked for us and it's going to show on your page that you worked for them. So there's going to be a history, you know, of work in there as well. So, uh, you know, as far as, like I said, as far as the charity works go and stuff like that, we're, we're always looking to give to the community, but we're also looking not uh, to do it safely, right? So I hope that answers it. Yeah, thank you very much. I really appreciate the interest you have at Arts for um, this creators, and I really love what you're actually doing. I wish you all the best, and I know great people will be coming to this project. Thank you so much, Sarah, once again. Thank you. Hey, thank, thank you. you for the question. All right, let's do, um, let's do um, a thank you to you all in meeting. Make sure to unmute your mic as well, please. Yeah, guys, bring out any questions you have. Like I said, you know, if, if I have the answer, uh, if I have nothing to hide to you. How are you doing? How are you doing? Awesome. Thank you for the opportunity. And the happy birthday, Sarah. So my question is about the Nexus KYC verification that I want to know. Uh, what are the elements that you check for the giving this badge and uh, what documents do you accept to do that KYC verification? And uh, uh, also, uh, will you do to uh, what will you do to figure out that uh, those documents are not gonna be fake? I mean, you know, the, so many devs are using fake details and run away. And who are those validators of the documents? Perfect question. So, uh, once again, we're trying to be as safe as possible. There's always going to be that one person, you know, that finds a way around, but we're you know almost there to cover the whole tracks, right? So. First of all, I'm looking at our process right now. Uh, it's gonna every KYC is gonna be by appointment, right? It's not just gonna be like oh, paid to this wallet, whatever. We'll get to you whenever. No, it's there's gonna be an appointment, whatever. We'll ask you a couple of questions here and there, and uh, you know we're gonna try to engage with you just to see, you know, to judge your intentions, right? Uh, I, as I said, you know, I am a shiller. I get these uh, and project owner now. I, I get these messages from scammers every single day. I know how to read them. I know how to read their. Uh, 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 basically their intentions, their channels, all that. So once you make an uh, appointment, obviously pay for the KYC. Uh, we will have a contract for you to sign saying that, you know, any kinds of uh, violations, basically your contract will be revoked, your KYC will be revoked, and uh, you will open yourself up for the lawsuits for, you know, basically authorities being involved and doxing as well per request of the victims, right? So there's going to be that. Once you sign that contract, you know, acknowledge everything written in there, uh, uh, there's going to be a verification via third party. So that third party is called Identify, and uh, they're a company uh, located in the UK right now. So we have had a conference meeting with them. They have uh, demonstrated their project to us, uh, the, how it works and everything like that. Uh, there's a few secrets that I can't reveal whatnot, but uh, basically... They have ways of checking whether that uh, legit, you know, your face, you know, matching the, uh, the document that you're using. Uh, there's a background check as well that's going to be provided to us. Uh, let's see. Uh, once basically you confirm with them, you know, and also if there's any doubt in their system that your, you know, document is not uh, valid once their, uh, once the background check and all that is done, uh, your basically KYC is done. You know, uh, we can uh, we can try again to go through that, but it's if it doesn't pass, you know, you're basically not just you're not gonna get KYC'd, and uh, there's no uh, returns. So. Uh, let's see, once those, uh, once that's been verified with them, you're going to have a uh, face to face with us, right? So we're going to ask you questions. Uh, we're going to ask you to see the same documents as well. And, uh, you know, we can move on from that. Uh, once we move on from that, here's the, one of the sort of say best parts, right? 
we're gonna send a letter in the mail with a code for your verification, right? So the address that you provide to us is gonna be sent to that, uh, or the code is gonna be sent to that address, right? Uh, in the letter, letter, uh, there's gonna be a contract as well, basically stating that any occupants of this residence are responsible, you know, for any wrongdoings of this person. So let's say you live with your parents, whatever, uh, that con and their name is on that house, right? Even if you are the one to get it, or let's say your aunt gets it, whatever, and uh, you don't live there, you know, you're trying to be scammy basically, and uh, she provides you with that code and we verify you. If you scam somebody, we can go after that address, you know, basically, so we can basically own the house that uh, the letter got sent to if you know there's a scam involved so once again i am hoping that these people actually try it and get caught and lose their you know belongings basically or whatever they sent uh, you know the address and the address has to be a real address right so we're going to check out the address we're going to check out uh, uh you know it's not going to be a peel box or anything like that for example or a suit this suit that it's going to be a real physical address either an apartment or something like that so uh, but yeah, so the owner of the address that you provided us with will be liable also with you for any damages caused to us and our platform, our image, and our uh, investors as well. On top of that, you know, you would be uh, have your KYC revoked and, uh, you know, we would find you with that address, you know, and if we don't find you with that address, we got at least a portion of it uh, covered, you know, by taking over the deed of that house and, you know, taking all the legal uh, matters against the person living in that house. So then you would basically, what signing the contract, you would understand that. So we have our lawyers working on it, uh, working on the contract and everything, whatever to cover us and the investors as well. And uh, yeah, so that's one way. If you pass through all this, let's say you're legit, um, once you provide us with that uh, verification code, it's not just going to be, you know, a couple of numbers, whatever, it's going to be mixed, right? So it, it, you can't just guess it, whatever. And uh, once all that's said and done, uh, you would provide us with your uh, social uh, handle, right? So let's say you work with Telegram explicitly and uh, we would take that Telegram handle, we would put it on an NFT, we would take the last date of your uh, wallet associated with our platform, put it on that NFT, have a registry list in our uh, on our platform to, to basically where everybody can find you and uh, they would have limited information of course, but uh, they would be able to see the status of your KYC, whether you know you scam somebody, whether you're reactive, or whether your uh, KYC is inactive, right? So, if it's inactive, uh, that means you know you tried to scam somebody or you broke any kinds of a uh, contract. And uh, if there are any victims, they can request your uh, your basically information that you provided us with, and we will release it to them. So. Uh, but yeah, and uh, also, as I mentioned, uh, we will require an IP address, no VPN, and obviously, you know, we know how to uh, find out if you are using VPN or not. Um, let's see, device registration via link. So we'll send you a link, you'll click on it with the device that you're using, and, uh, you know, everything's going to match up, whatever, but that, uh, your device basically would be registered to uh, to that, right? So that means if, uh, you know, we ban you, you can never use that uh, iPhone or, you know, a computer again, even if you change the service provider, the device registration would be there. So once that's done, uh, everything is good, let's say, you will get that, uh, you will get that NFT sent to you associated with your address and everything like that. And, uh, you know, it would be displayed in our registry list. You can use it as a promotion for yourself. You would also have a verification sign and doc sign basically on our platform saying, you know, or at least provide information to people saying, okay, this guy's safe, right? So, but, uh, but yeah, and uh, you're done. You have the KYC NFT, you're on the registry list and that never goes away, so. Awesome, brilliant. Thank you so much, man. The, the, the scammer developers will get wrecked. Thank you so much, man. Yeah.
that, that's that, that's the plan. Like I said, I am hoping we catch somebody and we go through all this process just to make an example off of somebody. So the other people will, you know, basically, you know, be uh, very about it and uh, they're not going to try us. So if you get, a, for example, somebody in your Telegram chat, you know, saying, hey, I sell these services, whatever, make a quick payment, you know, we're going to do it for a discount for you, this and that. You just tell them, you know, go to uh, go to TX Ashton, uh, sign up there. It's quick, it's free, it's easy. I'll hire you, I'll pay you. Once your work is done, you'll get the funds released. That's about it. And like I said, you don't have to be a holder of our token. You don't have to do anything to do to uh, use our services. So. Okay, thank you. Um, so let's see. Sorry, guys, that was it. Um, so I have one more only from the chat. Um, it was a long question, but I'm just going to like, so, uh, short it. Sorry. Um, what challenges do you face now? Uh, right now, you know, I'm going to be honest with you. We're facing marketing challenges and, uh, we're facing, uh, funds challenges, right? So, uh, as I mentioned, you know, everything is uh, f funded by the uh, by the community, so to say, and uh, we're looking to get our name out there as much as possible. But as far as the technical side goes, uh, we have no challenges there whatsoever, right? So we have a team, you know, capable of doing everything. We have a team that hasn't gotten a cent from the investors, from anything, you know, until it's our time. So we're busy working with everything. Everybody's doing a, you know, great job. You know, I'm very proud of our team, but the only challenge, I, I don't want to say, call it a challenge or whatever, but uh, the only obstacle right now that we're facing is trying to get our name out there, right? So it's, you know, it's a challenge for every uh, project out there, you know, unless you, you know, have $100,000, $500,000, you know, to market it. But as of right now, I, I've depleted my savings account. I've depleted my checking account. I've had, you know, a couple of funds left, whatever. Uh, our co-owner has been, you know, very, very great. Uh, he's been, um, you know, He's been providing us, you know, with as many funds as he can, whatever. But yeah, that's, you know, and uh, I didn't want to, you know, extend the seed sale or something like that to promise somebody, you know, 10 BNB for the 2 BNB they offer us, you know, uh, we're keeping it safe. We're keeping it fair for everybody. You know, if you want to, if you want to invest, this is where you can invest and this is how much you can invest. You know, we don't want to take any more of it, but yeah, the only obstacle, so to say, that we're facing, like I said, you know, is just trying to get our name out there, and uh, that's about it. Technical side, we have everything handled. Yeah, that's amazing. Um, all right, that was it from us. Do you have uh, any final words before we round this up? Yeah, sure. So, as I mentioned, you know, our... Um, uh, let's see, our private sale is tomorrow. Uh, you know, if you're not planning on participating, at least have your wallet just in case, you know, if you talk to me, let's say, and uh, change your mind, whatever. So I extend my offer to anybody from this AMA that's interested, that just wants to have their wallet whitelisted, uh, DM me. Uh, your wallet, I'll get you added, right? No question asked. Uh, if you do have any questions for the team, for me, for myself, anything, whatever, head out to our, uh, to our page, to our Telegram, ask any question you want there. I, I don't take uh, questions, you know, as FUD or something like that, whatever. I, I will answer it to you, you know, directly, honestly, truthfully, whatever, you know, however you want to call it. But uh, the only thing that I ask you, you know, if I provide you with an answer and if you keep on trying to get a different an answer every different time, you know, I, I'm not going to ban you, right, you know, but uh, I welcome any questions, you know, we can civilly talk with them and uh, whatnot, but uh, otherwise, if, uh, if you're not really comfortable asking that question in the chat, my DMs are open on, on both of the accounts that you can see here right now, 24-7. I'm not saying, you know, that I'm awake 24-7, but uh, I will get to you. If I could answer, you know, 5,000 DMs a week from Meta Ruffy, I can answer, you know, a couple more thousand DMs from, from my project here. So any questions are welcome. Uh, I welcome you all to our project. I hope you guys can see the good uh, that we're trying to do. And uh, we're we're gonna take care of you if uh, if you you know if you give us a chance. Thank you guys. Yeah.
Thank you. And all right, guys. So if you have uh, unanswered questions, feel free to go over to the Telegram uh, community. It's TX hash dome. And if you want to learn some more, read on the website and stuff like that. You can find the website at txhashdome.com. And with that being said, we wish you guys all best of luck and thank you for joining us today. And yeah. Thank you. Hey, thank you for having me, guys. I, I, I really hope we can do some uh, more business in the future. I really like what you guys are doing and how you are with your community. Keep it up. Uh, once again, I hope I hope we can do more business together. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much.